feet to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. He hath founded it upon the sea and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto them, nor sworn to seek him, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and the righteousness from God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and lift up your eyes, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up ye heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph for me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in the way of truth. And teach me, for thou art God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember me, O Lord, thy tender mercies, thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thy me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will be his God and judgment, and the meek will he teach his ways. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his commandments and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, find it my iniquity, for it is great. The man is he that feareth the Lord. Him shall he teach the way, that he shall not choose. His soul shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are toward the Lord, for he shall put my feet out of the net. Turn thee unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and The troubles of my heart are enlarged, O bring thou me out of my distress. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they that hate me will hate me. O keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let the integrity of our righteousness preserve me, for I will wait on you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles.
congregation, amen, to all the family and friends today. On the in the name of Jesus Christ, we welcome you. We want you to know that we are praying for you. We have you covered in prayer and that we are here to support you yes. however we can, amen. Yes. At this time, the program calls for a musical selection by Sandra Burris. Yes. Do I come right here?
from Psalms 23. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 23. God bless you. Amen.
Clayton, and that's going to be followed by remarks. The program does call that we ask each person limit that to two minutes. So once the musical selection by Keith Clayton is done, those that are have remarks, if you would come forward, and that will be followed by the reading of the obituary in that order. Uh, Brother Keith Clayton. I got it. 
anyway, um, Gwen, that was my sister. You know, we did it all. But uh, one of her favorite songs, and it was her ringtone, and that, I'll that and the other, um, was this being war. So I'm gonna try to sing a little bit of this moment. If I start tap dancing, y'all join. All right. <laughs>
waiting. We can't wait to get out of our mama's house. My God. You know, as children, we, we, we wait to be grown and 18 and all. Yeah, yeah. We get out of mama's house and sometimes wish we would have waited. <laughs> Some of us wait to go to school. Yeah. And often we find that in that wait, we get preoccupied and we never get around to it. Some wait on a mate. And once they find the love of their life, they're now waiting on a proposal or for a proposal to be accepted. Break it down. We spend a lot of time waiting. As soon as I lose this weight, <laughs> I'm going to. You feel it in. Soon as I get rid of this person I was waiting on, but they're not doing what I thought they would do, I'm going to handle my life a little different. We're waiting on children. We're waiting on each other. We're waiting on the day of. But the question today is, why wait? Mm. Waiting to get our act together, waiting to stop worrying, waiting for that person to get it together so they can stop being the burden in the family, waiting, waiting, and waiting. Yes. Waiting on them to quit this and to start that. Yes. <laughs> My God. Waiting to be healed, delivered, and set free, and we're waiting. Anybody ever played double dutch? Yeah. Yeah. Waiting on that rope the right time. <laughs> so we can jump in and have our turn. Life can be like double dutch. As soon as you think you got it, the rhythm is off. You're off. You're not ready. Sometimes we wait and when that thing come along, we were waiting on the pad. Yes. My God. The definition of wait means to stay in one place, to be in a position of delay, anticipating an action, to be looking forward to a particular time until something else happens to bring us closer to our turn so the wait can be over. Would you agree? <laughs> In the book of St. John, we have a man who waited for 38 years for deliverance. The scripture says in verse 1, after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethsaida, having five porches. Verse 3. Chapter 5, St. John. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, uh -huh. blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made whole of whatsoever dis ease or disease <laughs> they had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. My God. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there now a long time in that case, he said of him, will thou be made whole? My God, the empty man answered him, saying, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step it down in my place. Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> Jesus said unto him, Rise, yeah. take up thy bed and walk. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked, and on the same day, yeah. it was the Sabbath. My God. The Jews therefore said unto him that was, that was cured, it is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. Mm. He answered, 
answered him, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed was not who it was, for Jesus has conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple. Listen. He said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. I don't know about you, but 38 years is a long time. Right. <laughs> and 62, and just looking back and thinking, if I had been in a place in my life waiting for one specific thing to make me free for 38 years, I don't know if my mind could have handled that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my spirit would have stayed enthusiastic and waited another year with nothing happening. Have you ever been in a place of waiting and wondering when, Lord, we yeah. yeah. It was a multitude, meaning many. Many people were there with various issues and diseases. The Bible says impotent. That word impotent means powerless. There were people in the right place, yeah. yet they had no power. Mm -hmm. The scripture says blind, meaning they could not see. But to not be able to see or to be blind does not just mean physically. Blind also means a lack of understanding. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There were people there that were halt. What do you mean halt? It means that they were going well and halt. All of a sudden they came to a stop. You ever do well in life and something stops you? Yeah. You're on a roll. You got a rhythm. You got some motivation. And something comes along in life that halts you. And make you freeze in your track. Yeah. You lose someone or someone come into your life that means you no good. Or you lose a job. Or look, as soon as you think got it together, halt! As soon as you think, I'm on the way now, everything's gonna be all right, halt! As soon as this gets together, something else breaks out, halt! And to me, the worst one, this is just my opinion in the group, are those who are waiting by the pool, mm -hmm. but with how can we possibly be in a position where there is water <laughs> and yet be with it? Drawn up. No light, no water source, no depth. Nothing flowing to the root of who we are to give us the resources we need to flourish in life. Wither, how can we possibly be with it? In the presence of water. Look to me like after 38 years, you could have inched your way over. Right, right. <laughs> and when you saw the angel coming, cheated. Yeah. It just rolled on over there. Right. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just looks like to me after 38 years, something in our head would have given us an idea, a, a, a strategy, a way to fall off into the right place. all of these issues, we can't really judge this man. Because if we be real, 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 real honest with ourselves, many of us have been given opportunities in life. Many of us have been in the right position, right. with the right background, and the right this, and the right that, and the right, right education, Come yet! Or oh, yes. Come on. No power, mm. right. no understanding, halt, yeah. wither, not flourishing, right. nothing in life really going the way it should. Uh, 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 Hosea 4 and 6 says, my people. Mm -hmm. I was studying this week and that scripture hit me different. I, I've known this scripture all of my ministerial life, all I can ever remember growing up is hearing this scripture. My God. My people, but the word my stuck out this week, and I have to be real honest with you, it disturbs me. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah. He's not talking about people that don't know him. He's not talking about people that haven't claimed him, that have not confessed him. He's talking about the body of Christ, yeah. those that say they love him, have committed that. 
bless God. Mm -hmm. So he has an answer. Mm -hmm. It's knowledge. <laughs> because when we know better, we do better. Yes. If we know better and don't do better, this is why we're destroyed. And yet we've submitted ourselves to him. What's wrong with this picture? Jesus. <laughs> so the word of the Lord says, Jesus has come to interrupt our wait. The man would just say, I want to be whole, but every time, I didn't know how we have excuses. If my mama had did this, and my daddy had been around, or my daddy had did this, or if this would not have happened to me, I wouldn't be powerless or blind or halt or stuck. If someone would have just helped me, gave me a, a, you know, the hookup or, you know, a handout. We have a way of pointing the finger, and this man did the same thing. Right. He said, when the water is trouble, I don't have nobody to push me in. Mm -hmm. I don't have nobody to, to let me know it's my season, it's my time, and others jump in front of me. You ever just felt cheated out of your breakthrough? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the word of the Lord said, there are seats up here. And the word of the Lord says, <laughs> Jesus just sort of cut him off. He said, I am already very much aware of your condition, my God. I come to remind you and, and to tell you and to encourage you that God is fully aware of your history. My God. He's not moved by it. He's not shocked. He's not hurt. He's, he's not even disappointed unless we refuse to answer the question. Jesus said, I know all of that, but will that? Will you take this opportunity right now to be made whole? Right, Here. right. Yeah. Yeah. I know this happened and that happened and, and all of these, I know all about the ugliness. I know all about those that should have helped, could have helped, wouldn't help. Right. I'm very much aware. I know God. Mm. But let's just put all that to the side and answer the question today. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? That's the question. Are you tired of all of that being your lot in life? Your dash? Okay. Are you tired? Jesus said, take up thy bed and walk. Jesus is saying to us, the thing that has carried you that has been your reason, excuse, explanation, uh, imagination, whatever it is, that thing that has hindered you, that hurt that drove you to drugs, that man that caused you to be whatever, that woman that not, I don't even say, Lord, it's this woman you gave me. He said, take up that bed and walk. Bless God. The thing that has carried you, you now should reverse it and be carrying it. Yeah. Carrying it as a word of testimony. That in that the 38 years, 5 years, 10 years, whatever the stuck position you have found yourself in, the thing that has identified you, unfortunately sometimes trouble yes. identifies you. Look at the caller ID on your phone, your cell phone, and you say, huh? Nah, I'm <laughs>
comfort. Listen, 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 listen. The comfort, because some of us find comfort mm -hmm. in our misery. Yes. 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 It gets attention, if nothing else, it gets attention. Yes. Yes. Some of us find comfort. We are comfortable, but we learn to be comfortable. And then we try to, we try to spiritualize and say, but Paul said in all my ways, Come in on. every situation I'm going to be content. That's not the best scripture. That's right. <laughs> yes, that's not. We get comfortable, so we're not going to do nothing, and then we get mad when somebody else don't do something, and then when they do do something, they don't do it like we want them to, we still do it. Come on. That's called manipulation. Manipulation is not always bad. It simply means to rearrange, to turn yes. something yes. around, to shift it. So manipulation can be good. However, when we get comfortable in our position, can anybody tell us what to do to do better? Okay. Come on. Mm -hmm. Because after all, I'm the one that went through this, 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 and this. Right. This man tried that, and Jesus said, but I've just got one question. One. Three. Just one. Hmm. Will thou be made whole? Now, what that says to me is this. It ain't up to everybody else. All right. Wow. For my situation to change, it's not up to my mama. Right. It's not up to my father. Right. It's not up to my sister. It's not up to my sister.
and he set you for it? Yeah. Don't allow anything or anyone. I don't care who it is. I don't care what title, what role, or position they have played in your life. When you are free. Huh? He said, they asked him, who, who, who? Who had the audacity to interrupt? You see, Jesus came and even interrupted the angelic cycle of troubling the water at a certain season. Yeah. You don't even have to wait on a church service. You can just deliver it.
The scripture says, except the grain of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it abides with the power of the presence of God, then it shall manifest and bring forth fruit, and that fruit shall remain. You are the fruit. That's right. Amen. Amen. Break it down. Now, there's some fruit that fall off the tree overripe. Mm -hmm. Some of you should have been gave your life to God. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk real talk. Say it. Oh, yeah. man. Say oh, yeah. that. Yes. Say it. Some of you have been raised in the things of God and you know better what you can do to do better. Oh, oh yes. 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 Oh, yes. And some is on the vine right for the picking. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Better become content. Yes. Yes. And choose to maybe hide mm -hmm. behind another piece of fruit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> behind the prayers of someone else because I, I don't know if I can do this for myself. You can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. You can come out of waiting and into the full healing and wholeness that God has for you. Oh, yeah. So that the purpose of you being here, of me being here, can be manifested. Absolutely. Now we Father, we just thank you right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For the light. Thank you. For sister, for her mother, for her sisters, for her children, for her, her siblings, for every person, Father God. Friends, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, aunties, cousins, everyone that is here, Father God, that have gathered. We don't take this day lightly. March 11th. 2023. But Father, I pray that you will interrupt our way. Yeah. It calls us to recognize yeah. that we no longer have to be stuck or stagnated in whatever situation we are in. That you are here to deliver. Oh, yes. Woo! Hallelujah! 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 And to make us free. Today, we choose to take up the thing that has been carrying us, the thing that has identified us, that is adverse and contrary to who we are. We take it up and we carry it now as a testimony of our being made whole. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
right? <laughs>
back here. Wait, wait back here. What you, what you can do? Are they pointing somebody back here? Oh, Why you hiding back here with a mask on your face? <laughs> Step up here. I see you. So you can't do it? No, Or you can't? Not today. Not today. You gonna get the people in Chicago something to talk about? Who gonna say you know that? You know somebody like that? Thank <laughs> you. 